Good morning, grade twos, and welcome back to Worksheet Cloud. Welcome to your grade two maths lesson for today, and I hope you've had a lovely morning so far, or a lovely day so far, and that you're ready to learn with me again today. Now, if there are any things today that you don't understand during the lesson, or if you have any questions, you can just ask mommy or daddy to help you send an email to grade two at worksheetcloud.com. And we will try and answer your questions as quickly as possible. Now, if you've never watched a lesson of ours before, if this is the first lesson that you are watching and you've seen me, my name is Teacher Taryn. And today we are going to learn all about time and how time passes. And we're going to look at a few calendars together. Now, we've looked at time before in a previous lesson or a previous video, and we've looked at a clock and we said that a clock has numbers all the way around the clock but the most important part of the clock is that it has hands that tick around the clock and those hands on the clock usually look like two arrows there's a long arrow and a short arrow now the long hand on the clock the long arrow tells us minutes so the long hand will tick around this clock all the way around the clock 60 times. And those 60 times means that it has 60 minutes to go all the way around. Because 60 minutes is one hour. And in one hour, that long hand is going to tick all the way around and land up where it started again. Now the short hand on the clock is normally a short arrow and that tells us the hour. Now the long hand on the 12 tells us that it is o'clock. When the short hand joins, the short hand tells me the hour, which hour of the day we are working in. And now this shorthand is showing a five, so it is five o'clock. Remember, we always look at the long hand first, and then we look at the hour. Now that long hand can be in different places on the clock. And as it ticks around the clock, we give it different names. When the long hand is on the six, it is half past. Now remember the shorthand is going to tell us the hour. So the shorthand now is just past the one. It's halfway between the one and the two. So we can say it is half past one. Remember we always read the clock from the long hand first. It is half past and then we look at the hour, half past one. Now, when the long hand is on the three, the name we give it is quarter past. Now, quarter past is our minute that we are looking at, but the shorthand is going to tell me my hour, and the shorthand is on the four, so I say it is quarter past four. And now, when the long hand is on the nine, and it's ticked all the way around the clock to land up on the nine, we say it is quarter to something. And the shorthand is going to tell me what it is quarter to. And this shorthand is either on the two or just before the two. So it is quarter to two. Remember that I always look at the long hand first and then the shorthand. And that's going to tell me the order of how I need to say the time. It is quarter to two. Now, this side of the clock is the past side, and this side of the clock is the two side. So let's remember, when the long hand is on the 12, the minutes, it is o'clock. 
when the long hand is on the six, it is half past. When the long hand is on the three, remember this is the past side, it is quarter past. And when the long hand is on the nine, it is quarter two. Okay, so here is a little girl and her name is Emma. And Emma wakes up very early in the morning. Let's see what time Emma wakes up. The long hand is on the 12, so it is o'clock. The short hand is on the 7, so it is 7 o'clock. So Emma wakes up at 7 o'clock in the morning. But she arrives at school at, that's the o'clock, and it is 8 o'clock. So this clock tells me that she arrives at school at 8 o'clock. But now the question is, how much time has passed from when Emma wakes up to when she arrives at school? From 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock, how much time has passed? Yes, well done. One hour has passed. That long hand has ticked all the way around the clock once. And as soon as it got there again, that short hand moved with it to the eight. So one hour has passed. So here's a little boy and he's carrying a ball. His name is Joshua. Now Joshua goes to his sport practice, his rugby practice in the afternoon at this time that the clock shows us. And the long hand is on the 12, so it is o'clock. My short hand is on the 2, so it is 2 o'clock. And that is when his rugby practice starts. So Joshua goes to his rugby practice at 2 o'clock. And his rugby practice ends at, let's quickly read this clock together. It is o'clock, the long hand. The short hand is on the 4, so it is 4 o'clock. So if his rugby practice starts at 2 o'clock and it ends at 4 o'clock, how long? was Joshua's rugby practice. So from two till four is two more. So yes, two hours have passed. Shoot, that seems like a very long practice. Okay, so here Emma and Joshua look like they are rollerblading and they start rollerblading at eight o'clock. Well done. The long hand is on the 12, and the short hand is on the 8, so it's o'clock, but it is 8 o'clock. And they go back home after they've rollerbladed all morning at 11 o'clock. Well done. The long hand is on the 12, and my short hand is on the 11, so it is 11 o'clock. How much time has passed from when they started rollerblading to when they ended rollerblading. So how long did they rollerblade for? So from 8 we can count 9, 10, 11. So yes, 3 hours have passed or they rollerbladed for 3 hours. Okay, so let's have a look at this calendar and this calendar is Emma and Joshua's month. So there are a few things we can see on a calendar. We always see the month that we are working in. And we are working in the month of May. It also shows us the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. How many days are there in a week? There are seven days in a week. And how many months would they be in a year? There would be 12 months, yes. So let's have a look at our month of May. These four blocks in the beginning are blacked out because they are not part of our month. The 1st of May starts on a Friday. And here we can see that this Friday is a public holiday. And these days over here, they do exist, but they were April, the month before 
full name. So the Saturday and the Sunday are the weekends. So how many days do we have in a school week? We have five days in a school week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. But here I see some things that are happening in this calendar that this could be a party. It looks like there's a balloon and a party hat. And here I see a pencil. And that pencil could be a test maybe that they're writing. And here's a little boy with a soccer ball. Maybe that's a soccer match that he might be playing. So let's have a look and see if we can answer a few questions about this calendar. Our first question is, which month are we looking at? We are looking at the month of May. Now, which month comes before May? April, yes. And which month comes after May? June, yes. How many days are there in May? So let's have a look at our calendar. Our calendar starts on the 1st of May and it ends on the 31st of May. So how many days would there be in May? There would be 31 days in May. Is there a public holiday in May? So let's have a look. Yes, over here on my calendar, it says that there is a public holiday on the 1st of May. And that is a public holiday all across the world, not only in South Africa. So, yes, there is a public holiday in May. And 1 May, or the 1st of May, is a public holiday. So, Joshua and Emma have the same birthday. When is this? So, we saw on our calendar, we had a little party hat. And the party hat over here has a balloon, and that gives a clue that it might be their birthday. So what day? We're looking at Saturday, the day. And what date would be the number, would be the 9th of May. So if I have to answer this question, Joshua and Emma have a birthday. When is this? I could say that their birthday is, remember we said Saturday, 9 May. So, their birthday is on the 9th of May. Now, if the question asked me which day is their birthday, we could say that it is a Saturday. And if it asked which date is their birthday, we say the 9th of May. So, grade twos, you are very clever boys and girls. And I hope that you are going to now be able to know how much time has passed and how you can look at a calendar and look for different information on your calendar. Ask mommy or daddy to show you a calendar and show you where on that calendar is your birthday. And then look what day it is on and what month it is in and what the date might be. So, grade twos, this lesson was brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. And until the next time we can learn something together, have a lovely afternoon. Goodbye, great twos.